I know you and Jimmy were very close. I know you killed him. Amazon Prime's Hannah left the audience sitting at the edge of their seats while clutching the armrest in anticipation of what would happen next. The series follows Hannah, a 16-year-old assassin, as she undergoes life-threatening circumstances. It's the perfect show for people who enjoy suspense sprinkled in with a little bit of action. There's some talk going around that season three of Hannah is going to air in early 2022, which means you have to wait quite some time. You can make the wait more interesting and fun by watching similar suspense shows. Today, we're talking about similar shows to Hannah that you need to watch. Before we continue, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. You, we're starting this list strong with popular Netflix series You. If you've watched Dexter, you might enjoy this show too, as it allows you to view the world from the point of view of a serial killer. This series has two seasons so far, with a third one scheduled to release sometime in 2021. The story follows Joe Goldberg, who is a bookstore manager by day and a serial killer by night. In the first season, Joe falls in love with a customer named Guinevere Beck and develops a toxic, delusional obsession with her. In the second season, Joe attempts to start over by moving to Los Angeles, where he falls in love again, this time with heiress Love Quinn, and the cycle ensues again. When it was first released in 2019, it gained a lot of popularity. It also sparked quite a few debates on the portrayal and romanticization of the serial killer and stalker protagonist, Killing Eve. Next up, we have a British spy thriller on our hands. Killing Eve originally aired on BBC America in 2018 and caught quite a lot of attention. The show centers around a British intelligence agent, Eve Palastri, as she tries to capture Villanelle, a psychopathic assassin. You may be familiar with the actress who plays Eve if you're a fan of Grey's Anatomy. You're in for an intense cat and mouse chase between the two main characters that eventually develops into obsession. The TV show is based on the novel series Villanelle by Luke Jennings. However, each season of the series is led by a different female writer. The first season was written by Phoebe Walter-Bridge, the second by Emerald Fennell, and the third by Suzanne Heathercote. Although the initial two seasons of the series did really well, the third didn't live up to the mark set by the first two. This isn't to say it wasn't good. The fourth and final season of Killing Eve is set to premiere in 2022, The Alienist. At number three, we have the cable series The Alienist. Originally aired on TNT, the series has two seasons. It follows a trio composed of Daniel Bruhl, Luke Evans, and Dakota Fanning as they attempt to investigate a serial killer who is murdering children. The events in The Alienist are set in mid-1890s New York. If you're a history buff, you might really like this series as it tries to merge fiction with reality. It includes actual historical figures such as Theodore Roosevelt. The series is based on the novel of the same name by Caleb Carr. The second season includes the name of the sequel, The Angel of Darkness, as a subtitle. In the second season, the trio attempt to investigate another case of serial killing after a baby is kidnapped. The general response to The Alienist is good. However, some viewers have complained about the slow pace of the show. If you prefer something more fast-paced, we'd suggest referring to some of the other TV shows in this video. Money Heist. The next series on this list is taking us on a heist. The Spanish series Money Heist is one of the most popular foreign TV shows on Netflix. You follow The Professor and his team as they take part in two long prepared heists, one on the Royal Mint of Spain and one on the Bank of Spain. When the series first released, its theme song, Bella Ciao, became an instant hit across the globe. The series even won several awards, including an Emmy for the Best Drama Series. Money Heist has two seasons, with each season being split into two parts. The first season focuses on their heist in the Royal Mint of Spain, while the second shows the heist planned for the Bank of Spain. What really makes viewers 
love the series is that it's a lot more than just a heist. The audience is left wondering what the end goal is and who exactly to trust amidst all the chaos. Quantico At number 5, we have Quantico. For the first time in British broadcast series, a South Asian female actress was cast for the leading role. Quantico follows Alex Parrish, played by Priyanka Chopra, as she tries to investigate a bomb attack. The initial season starts off with two timelines, one set in the present, where Parrish is trying to prove her innocence regarding her involvement in the bomb attack. The other timeline is set in the past, where we see Parrish train at the academy alongside other recruits. While the initial season received a lot of praise from audience and critics alike, the third and fourth seasons received more mixed comments. The series was nominated for four awards at the People's Choice Award. Chopra won two of these awards, making her the first South Asian to win a People's Choice Award. The show has three seasons and was canceled after the final season aired. Jessica Jones Next, we have another series that features a strong female character. Based on the Marvel superhero series, Jessica Jones follows the female lead, played by Kristen Ritter, as she leaves behind her life as a superhero and starts anew as a private investigator. If you're a fan of film noir, then you'll appreciate the noir cinematography in Jessica Jones. It uses a lot of shadows to hint that something dark comes your way. The show also introduces the audience to Luke Cage, who also has a whole series dedicated to him and his adventures. The show touches upon some darker topics, such as rape, assault, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Jessica Jones has a total of three versions. The show was canceled after the third season. Given the dark topics addressed in the show, it may be a bit heavy for some viewers. The Nightmare Manager Another show for the Marvel fans out there who might be able to recognize Tom Hiddleston in The Nightmare Manager. The series originally aired on BBC and AMC and is based on a novel of the same name by John Le Carr. The show centers around Tom Hiddleston's character, who is a former British soldier who is hired to infiltrate an organization led by an arms dealer. Your eyes are going to be glued to the screen as you watch this binge-worthy series. The Nightmare Manager was a critical success. Not only did it bag two Emmy Awards, but it also won three Golden Globe Awards. You can easily binge this series on Amazon Prime, as there is only one season with six episodes. This series is a quick watch. Banshee At number eight, we have Banshee. This TV show follows the story of an ex-con, played by Anthony Starr, who lives under the identity of a deceased sheriff to keep an eye on a crime lord known as the Rabbit. The male lead is also in love with the daughter of the crime lord, and the two try to find a way to be together while evading the eyes of the crime lord. If you enjoy shows with a good character arc, then you'll love Banshee. With the span of two seasons, you see all of the characters develop well. Banshee even won an Emmy for the spectacular visual effects used throughout the series. An interesting fact about the series is that Anthony Starr's character is always referred to by the name of the deceased sheriff. The audience never learns of his real name, Jack Ryan. Next up, we have another Amazon Prime remake, Jack Ryan. The political action thriller series is based on a character from Tom Clancy's Ryanverse. It follows Ryan, played by John Krasinski, as he uncovers various political schemes. As of right now, there are two seasons of the show, and a third one is planned for the future as well. The first two seasons were quite well received, and Jack Ryan also received quite a lot of award nominations and wins. Ozark Suspense lovers will really enjoy Ozark as the series keeps you on your toes. Netflix's 2017 series follows Marty Bird, financial advisor, as he ends up stumbling into a life of crime after he helps a Mexican drug dealer launder money. Bird ends up moving from Chicago to Ozark, yet still finds their lives in constant danger, trying to hide from cartels and from the cops. From the amazing writing and directing to the flawless acting, Ozark gained a lot of positive reception from the audiences and from critics. The series has four seasons and has won various awards, including multiple Emmy and Golden Globe Awards. Interestingly, the series was able to bring a lot of tourism to the Lake of the Ozark. Even a restaurant by the name Marty Birds opened at the place with some signature menu items from the show, including Ruth's smoked wings. There's no better way to relax on the weekend than by binge watching some suspense TV series. Which of the TV shows mentioned in the video are you starting next? Let us know in the comments below.